It's Wednesday, October 24th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. My friend Sydney on Facebook says, I believe in Jesus, but oftentimes I find it difficult to follow him. I don't like other Christians a lot of the time. They seem to not show the love to others that Jesus talked about. I just want to stay strong in my faith. I've decided to call myself a heretic. I will follow forever my Savior, but I feel the Christians nearby me are not preaching his love. Am I doing anything wrong here? Thanks, Sydney. Honestly, no. Now, some of you are going to expect me to say, Sydney, you just got to tough it out. You got to get back in the church and you got to realize that nobody's perfect. And, you know, there's some people that struggle and maybe you can be a light in the darkness and all of those things. And those may be good answers, but I don't think that's the best answer. The best answer, honestly, is find some Christians who are practicing Christ's love. You know, folks, there is not a bigger blemish on Christianity today than those people who are caught up in legalism and lack unconditional love. And sadly, Sydney, you're not just the only person that feels this way. There's a lot of Christians that do, and there's a whole lot of non-Christians that do. People that feel condemned by other Christians because they're always talking about how bad everyone is and how self-righteous they are instead of loving unconditionally as Christ did. Now, this is really an important thing. And, and I, wanna, I, I want you to stay with me through the whole podcast today because I really want you to get this. This is so important. You said, Sydney, that it's difficult for you to follow Christ sometimes because you don't feel the love from other Christians and so you feel like you have to get away from those people in order to follow Christ. What a sad commentary. But it's true with so many people. So what do you do? Well, you have two choices. You either stay in it and be abused and realize that your relationship with Christ also depends on the encouragement of those other Christians around you. And that's important, folks. God didn't create us to be Lone Ranger Christians. He created us to be part of a body that operates in his love. So that's not a very good option. The second option is this. Either find or create a fellowship of people who you believe will exhibit the love of Christ and you can be a positive Christian with Christ's love, balanced by the body of believers in the faith. Now that's important. And for all of you that are struggling with the same thing, listen to me. Please don't stay in a church that abuses you. Please don't stay in a church that is extremely legalistic and doesn't show the love of Christ and doesn't support you and encourage you. Where did we get this idea that we have to stay in a church no matter how we're treated? That we just have to tough it out because being in a church is more important than the way we're treated there. Those are lies, folks. It's not true. You see, when Christ defined a church, he said, you know, this is the way it's done. Love others, love yourself, love God. Well, that's the important part. He said those were the greatest commandments. And then he looked at the people that were being legalistic, the church leaders that were not exhibiting any love and compassion. And he called them swear words in those days. He called them names. Broods of vipers, whitewashed fences. Those are fighting words in those days. <laughs> but he had strong words to say. And he said, don't be part of that. And then he told us to be free. And he warned us not to return to that, that, uh, that feeling of, of, uh, of depression and of uh, people's, um, I'm groping for words here, but you know what I mean. To not return to the vomit again. You know, we've been set free in Christ. Don't be a slave to sin any longer. Don't be a slave to bondage any longer. 
Don't be a slave to, to uh, people's judgment any longer. Be free in Christ. Well, do you see how important that is, folks, for all of us? You have to find a place where you're encouraged in your faith, where you have like believers around you who will lift you up. And folks, it isn't healthy to be uh, judgmental and hate hating a church and talking about it and all of that. Just walk away and find something else better. If you get caught up in all the drama concerning that, you're just as guilty as anybody. But just find something that is biblical, that is love-based, and that is encouraging for you. It's important for all of us. And Sydney, and those of you like Sydney, I hope you find something soon. God bless you. Have a great day.